first of all in the cytosol of a cell gtp binding protein rab binds to a prenyl group as a result the rab is modified this modification allows the rab to insert into a membrane the modified rab then binds to a gdp the cytosolic gdi then binds to the inactive gdp modified rab complex the gdi keeps the inactive gdp modified rab complex in rab gdp state the membrane has a non specific gdi displacement factor the gdi gdp modified rab complex then binds to non specific gdi displacement factor this non specific gdi displacement factor removes the inactive rab gdp from the gdi and insert it into the membrane the removal of inactive rab gdp from the gdi frees the gdi in this case the membrane has a specific rab guanine nucleotide exchange factor or rab gef the inactive rab gdp then binds to the rab gef the rab gef then causes the exchange of gtp for the gdp on the modified rab this exchange forms an active rab gtp the active rab gtp then interacts with the effector protein let us consider the second case in which the membrane has no rab gef in this case the prenyl group binds to the rab and gets modified the modified rab now can insert into the membrane the modified rab then binds to a gdp the cytosolic gdi then binds to the inactive gdp modified rab complex the gdi keeps the inactive gdp modified rab complex in rab gdp state the gdi gdp modified rab complex then binds to a non specific gdi displacement factor present in the membrane this non specific gdi displacement factor then removes the inactive rab gdp from the gdi and insert it into the membrane the removal of inactive rab gdp from the gdi frees the gdi as in this case the membrane has no rab gef the cytosolic freed gdi then binds to the rab gdp then removes it from the membrane and then carries it to another membrane please like subscribe and share